question for us today is how do we get to be totally bright and squeaky clean? Can this happen even if we are like an old grungy, dirty, rusty pickup truck? The answer is clear. We can't do it. No matter what soap we use, no matter what grid of sandpaper, no matter how hard we scrub, no matter which cleaner, polish or wax we use, it won't just work. But listen up. Help is available. Stay with me to hear all about it. How can we make bad into good? Even if cars, trucks, or even people and to in, enter into our world, our society as brand new, they're not perfect and we abuse them as we use them. No automaker has produced perfection no matter what they might claim. We are not perfect. We are not God. Only God brings darkness and imperfection into the light. Hey, we know we rust and decay like the fenders of my old Chevy pickup. But God can change us. God redeems us and perfects us through His beloved Son. It's easy to go wrong. For instance, if we recall, Simon Peter rebuked Jesus when our Lord said that he would go to Jerusalem and there be killed, be crucified. Peter possessed his own agenda. He wanted to make God according to his own vision. He was looking for a different kind of redemption.
That's why I think Jesus invited Peter and the brothers James and John to go up on the mountain of transfiguration. Like in the days of old, where Moses had received the commandments and Elijah had experienced God passing by the mouth of the cave. The three disciples would experience the wonder of perfection personified in the person they knew as the Messiah. You see, Jesus is the Christ of God. While they were there, the scripture says they saw Moses and Elijah. I've wondered how the disciples knew who they were. But within the vision, you see, it was made known that they knew both. Then God, by the power of the Holy Spirit, proclaimed Jesus the begotten Son, the Lord of Lords. You see, God affirmed Peter's original proclamation that Jesus was indeed the Messiah, the Deliverer. Although Peter didn't understand just how the title Deliverer would unfold. Peter declared Jesus' identity, but then Peter found himself in error once again. You see, we may think that what we're doing is right. We may think that a thin coating of body putty will fix what is wrong. But only by the power of the Holy Spirit can we know the way, the truth, and the light that one who is Jesus Christ our Lord. As workers, we often think of ourselves more than we rightly deserve. I think we need to clearly hear our words to his apostles at the bottom of that mountain clearly. He said to them as they waited there, Rise and have no fear. Follow me. For those who were wondering about the question asked at the beginning of this video, the Diamond T trucks and for a few years Diamond T cars were uh, manufactured under the auspices of the White Motor Company. White Motor Company eventually merged another outfit with the uh, Diamond T uh, they took the Rio Motor Company and merged it with the Diamond T, so it was, became Diamond Rio uh, in later years. The Diamond Tree, tree or Diamond T trucks were uh, very uh, prevalent in uh, the World War II effort. As they built military trucks for that uh, for the servicemen.